What's up, everybody? We uh, have had quite the change up for our regular summer run, uh, so to say. Uh, the last performance of Cheyenne uh, Championship Sunday. Uh, had a great, great week at Cheyenne, but the last day got pretty rough. Uh, ended up getting up underneath the bull and ended up breaking four ribs uh kind of bruising the lung and uh yeah so i'm all beat up so we uh decided that smash and i would come home for a week and uh we're gonna get geared up get kind of healed get some healing started and get rolling that direction to get back in the arena hoping for sykeston uh time will tell on that so we got home which happens to be this weekend that I'm taking off to heal up. We uh, are getting this big rig, the new semi that we got loaded, and we are gonna take a load of fighting bulls to Dirks, Arkansas for the UBF bullfights. So uh, pretty excited about that, getting to be home for the maiden voyage of the big rig. So see what happens. Watch Cody Webster right here. Wow. Man, I mean that that's just that's just how you do it, right? So this is a, a generic 53 foot spread axle cattle pot. Uh, it's a double decker, so you can put livestock on the top and the bottom. And uh, normally they come with just this one cut gate right here in the middle. Uh, for the fighting bulls, uh, generally being on the road with them. When we're here at home, as you guys will see here shortly, you know, they handle well. They everything that goes on here at home, they're they're calm and they're a lot easier to work. When we get on the road and we get moving, uh when we get to where we're going with the fighting bulls, they're just they're their switch is flipped and they're on edge 24-7. So we uh took this generic cattle pot that's got one cut gate in the belly. This is where we're at is the belly. Uh, we ended up putting two more cut gates. Papa G come over, Gertzen's welding, and uh, we fab together these cut gates that are here, put hinges on that side with a latch on this side right here. It's Peter's latch, that thing will come right in the middle there. And uh, overall, ends up being to have three cut gates, which makes four compartments on the belly. So we'll have three bulls there sorted. Then three bulls will go in the pen to fight together at the event. They will house with each other at the event and then they travel with each other going to the event. So we'll have three there, three here in the middle, three right here and three in the back of the belly. And that'll end up basically having 12 bulls sorted uh, to their pens and easy to handle, easier to get around. By the time we leave, we never have to sort or do anything else with the bulls other than load and unload. We don't have to sort. So <laughs> makes things so much, so much better. Uh, it'll be the same way on the top. You can sort 12 up top. We can put a pin of bulls in the front. On the nose of the trailer, we can put another somewhere between four to six bulls in that front hole there. And then also on the back side, uh we can either have our championship bulls or all of our refight bulls whichever set of bulls you want to have there can go also right here on the back and uh you know one other thing that's really nice is right up here in the jail we have all of our hay our feed our water troughs our feed buckets water hoses tarps so the bulls can't see people when we get to the event and uh yeah so 
a lot of upgrading around the ranch here but kj connor they're getting horses caught saddled ready to do some sorting i'm going to be driving the mule and uh take you guys along for the ride so smash what uh what's your thoughts on being home for a week during the middle of the summer run because i've never come home ever and 21 years of fighting bulls i've never had to come home so well it's been like how long have we been married seven seven years it's been seven years since i've been home in uh august and it's hot it so. is so hot here <laughs> i have uh, well i come home early last year but late august. look out there carl you're getting around pretty good carl had a really bad incident uh while we were gone during the pbr finals and so he's been on the men getting doctored uh aunt peg really stepped up to the plate and that tech, tech extraordinaire Absolutely. peggy english so uh yeah we're rocking and rolling here at the ranch just in granny mode is what i call it because moving fast and lifting or doing anything with broke ribs not fun and pj good looking resist all hat you got there same better day i had a brand new one broke out for cheyenne and completely disintegrated it so i'm back in my old slash new uh old slash new what i yeah he's over there in the water trough cooling off like he's done anything today it's like turner connor how's old gray let's give everybody an update on Not old gray uh just by just by bucking bulls two-year-old bucking bulls at the yeah. bbi the other day but he's been he's KJ pretty good didn't get him hooked though no, KJ didn't get it. Yeah, KJ's pulling a pretty bad prank on Connor, no, saying his horse got hooked or whatever. But no, Austin did. I um, mean, he's uh, he's, he's make, definitely making a horse, huh? Making a horse. Everybody. He can be, he can be yours. Dude. Everybody that has hated and said, you know, what what is Connor doing? And well, I tell you what, when you're breaking horses, it's it's not always pretty. You don't always go right. Don't always go how you want it to go. But at the end of the day, uh, old Gray is rideable you can ride you can rope hammer and paint do things with him that most horse can't so anyways he's desensitized he's desensitized that's a good way to put it desensitized hey. down there at that flying w ranch huh yeah down at the flying w been down there roping them fighting bulls with cody webster at that flying w ranch you been doing that, Connor? Yeah. It goes on the sale ticket, huh? It goes on the sale ticket. He huh. has been there, done that. Been there, done that. On the flying W. For real. <laughs> it's not a false advertisement. Sometimes it is. That has happened recently. Huh, PJ? It seems to happen. This little old colt's making a good turnaround, too. Hey. I think go ahead and sort off them young bulls that come in this morning and then we'll we'll kick them back into here and go behind the barn we'll just pin them right here out of our way and then we'll bring up all the big boys yes sir so and it's warm it's hot way too hot to be doing this but duty calls AJ, it wouldn't have been as hot in the morning would it no i've been pretty cool in the morning Y'all don't even want to leave tonight, so why y'all want to give me a hard time? Just because just it's fun. Just go sort. Yes, sir. Yes, boss. That gate is closed. Oh, the gates are closed. Yeah. Good, good eye. Look how big and stout them bulls are. Goodness. New bunks are surviving. Uh, not as pretty as they was when we first put them in, but... They're getting good and broke in, we'll say that much. And uh, the bulls are staying extremely healthy. Uh, Z13 looking really good. This is where all the calves are on this side. and They're doing the same thing. The calves are really growing. We've got some really, really nice young bulls coming up. So we are excited about that. Got a new load of young bulls in this morning.
look a little rough from the trip, but they're here and we got them home and we will get them where they're supposed to be and they'll they'll rebound really really quick. Some really good looking calves, so can't complain with that. KJ and Connor are in the arena. How are they? Uh, getting a little sorting, ready to roll here. I'm gonna sort off those uh, calves. Connor that Connor left. left the gate open on this morning. <laughs> We're not letting him live that one down. Not happening. How are you getting along, KJ? Yeah. <laughs> he was trying to get you pretty good. Cut him right there. Oh, nope, too late. Yeah, well, that little old, he was went down. A little old blue calf was wanting to get you there, Buck. Did you video it? Uh-uh. Uh -huh. What'd it feel like? like the row was about to get hooked yeah he was he was kind of wanting to be serious but almost bluffing there at the right when he wanted to hit you yeah i bet you on foot he gets you i'll bet i bet they'll all get you right now being on that truck all the way here good riding there gray you got a horse for sale not on sale i know what i got you know what you got i know what i got not on sale He'll go all day, won't quit you. Doesn't matter if it's 110 degrees outside, he won't quit you all day. He's got to go. Got our list of bulls here. That's what I'll be making the big trip this weekend. We got a couple bulls to get sorted off these young calves. We'll get them back where they go. And then these couple big bulls will go on the truck. And then we got to get the rest of the big, big herd gathered out there. And that's where the majority of what's going will be at so i get to sit around and watch old kj and connor smash do some work well i like them new young bulls they look nice some groceries and a little time, they're gonna be just right. Sort them big bulls off, KJ. Good cutting. Good cutting, PJ. Them are buys, Connor. Coming by, Smash. It's always fun taking these good new young bulls and them having to learn the ropes because on their toes you know because they don't know the ropes and you know everything that's been ranch raised that's been here you know knows how to kind of sort knows how to get along with each other bye connor and uh that 164 is a good looking calf there too boys hello he'll hit the gate hello and uh you know seeing them bulls hit the chase kj horseback while we go you know them 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 bulls ain't ever seen horses everything that's been raised here on the ranch see horses every day so it's just like another animal to them uh i think that's something we have going on here that's making a big difference is having things handle accordingly but you never know nice cut kj that's a nice calf right there pj you're gonna grow too oh Good Woo. job, Good job Connor. Way to not have that latch, bub. Yeah, and you went to the hinge. That's exactly right. Last time Connor did that, he broke his arm and about lost his head. So, Good work, man. I'll just go ahead and push that in out of your way. Well, KJ's bull is soared up. I have to get him up. We'll get sorted here in a minute. We'll get some medicine in him and get him feeling better. It is extremely hot, guys. It's 100, like 106 degrees right now, so 
you know stress is high on these animals it's hot uh, but you know we're kind of thinking ahead because we're gonna be able to get sorted today by this evening when we're sorted and loaded uh, it'll be cooling off uh, for the trip we're gonna drive through the night get down to Dirks for this event uh, simple fact we want to get in tomorrow and let these bulls uh, get in tonight let these bulls get their feet on the ground and, and get to get kind of acclimated and just get get the burns back you know if we tried doing all of this in one day plus going to the fight uh, the disadvantage is on the bulls and you know doing the business we do and what we do uh, just being stockmen you know we don't want these bulls being at the disadvantage so we are gonna go tonight uh, get there get everything sorted uh, fed watered bedded down for the night and then tomorrow they'll have all day to recoup lay around and then Tomorrow night, Saturday night action, it's bullfight time. Let's go good and slow, KJs. Since how hot it is, they might they might go. There's old nation hanging out in the corner by himself. Let's go boys. I'll tell you one thing. I appreciate a side-by-side -side this Kawasaki mule but I would much rather be on Carl horseback seeing how this goes all new pond filled up pretty good it's pretty deep right there good. Woo! we'll take this big wide KJ and then maybe they won't get near as hot come on boys let's go let's go yep Yep, let's go boys. Let's go boys. Yep. Yep. I got your gate corner. look good be a lot better than getting them all hot and worked up some new bulls in here every time we go to gather they just don't really get the program yet so they're pretty new learning the ropes but uh how's my horse look KJ like my horse comes with the built-in shade tree. Get that horse whooping spur down over there. Get them bulls. Get I got it. it. I got it. Get around California blue. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hip. 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 Give it a herd. Give it a herd. Let's go. Don't they? Oh, look at old Gray get around right there. Come on. Good work, man. Good work. Good gather. It's always nice when the gather goes smooth. Outside. Got that nice little walkthrough gate. It helps all the stock. We gather through that gate and then we shoot them through the pins. They gotta go through that gate that we just come out of. Makes a pretty big difference when it comes to sorting time. Let's go boys. Going right there. Go through the pins. Right out. making it easy on ourselves come on boys let's go let's go let's go come on z1 boy he ain't missed a meal has he fat fat
Go ahead. Perfect. And then we'll just take him. Yeah. Oh, blue is looking good, y'all. What's that? Oh, he goes outside. He's outdoor. Oh, 34. Oh, 34, young bull. Went to San Antonio for the Matadors. Was really nice bull. Outside. Yeah. Old Red Stag's about 13 years old. He's been around the country twice. Been there, done that, and got the t-shirt, Old Red said. Stay, get off your gate and stay right there at your hinge where you can close it. Close your hole a little bit. Oh, 20. Oh, 20. Hey, 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 hey. That's a pin. That's the pin to be in. I promise you that. They're going to be fun to fight. He's like a big old pet. Golly, he's gentle. Bye. Guys, I'm gonna tell you that paint board right there, that is a bad mamma jamma. The Z4 right here was a really, really great out last time we fought him. He had the guy down the whole time on the ground, so he's moved up into the championship round. These four bulls plus one more is gonna be the, the final five for all the big money tomorrow night. 10,000 added. These guys are gonna be going for the dough, and uh, they're gonna iron it on these big bulls right here championship round bulls the heavy contenders time to get this semi backed up to this old chute and uh see if the pot works how we thought it would getting set time to Time to get this big rig on the road. Go hook somebody. What you got going on here? Uh, bull mom wagon? Rodeo Houston cooler. We're gonna need this weekend because it's hot. It's hot. Lots and lots of water when it's hot. And you got broke ribs. It's hot bull hands. Disgusting. Disgusting. Discuss. Top bull hands. Mm -hmm. They've done a good job. Yeah, don't tell them though. I'm not minding this. I sit around watching deal a little bit. I don't want. It's good. It's good, sir. Is that your option? <laughs> uh... Hey, we're always ready to do the deal. Hey. What's up, driver? What's going on? Rob. You know, seen him countless other videos, hauling in feed bunks, hauling in pipe. Now he gets to haul fighting bulls, have fun with it. Yeah, huh? flying W truck. The flying <laughs> W truck, but we ain't got the flying W on there yet. It's in progress. If you know anybody or know anybody that wants to do some advertisement, that wants to wrap a semi, hit us up in the comments because uh, opportunities are always available. Looks pretty good, don't it, PJ? Hey, uh, yeah, good sure. job sorting, bud. Thank you. 
now the now the big question is can we get them on the big truck that's yeah. going to be the next big question Yep, yep, yep. Let's go, boys. <laughs> it ain't tight or nothing, PJ. Get her, Connor? Yes, sir. It's perfect. perfect. Load and stop, boys. Just like that, Papa G. Exactly how we dreamed it up. <laughs> Woo! Welding up a chute, fixing a cattle pot, hauling fighting bulls. I'd say the design, that design was good, huh, Rob? Yep, damn good. Damn, damn good. good. Uh, it is hot, we're tired. We are loaded and we're gonna get on the road. Hope you guys enjoyed the day here. Be sure to like, subscribe, leave us a comment. And uh, hey, we're headed to Dirks, Arkansas. So we'll let you see the action. down a couple bums in the back <laughs> yeah,